two dice are thrown, what is the probability that the product of the two numbers is a multiple of five? AMC eight. Now, first we're going to just like any old probability problem. What we, what we want is the successful outcomes over the possible outcomes. Now, for the successful outcomes, we'll count that using some casework, and well, for the possible outcomes, instead of denominator. Well, we just have six rolls for the first die, six more rolls for the second die. Multiply those together. We have 36 different combinations of rolls for two dice. And now you just need to figure out what goes in the numerator or successful outcomes. And to do that, we're going to look at our two die. First, we'll get die number one, and then we'll look at Whatever die number one rolls, what will die number two roll? Well, obviously, if die number one rolls a one, die number two, it has to be five, since one times anything else on die number two won't be a multiple of five, since we want multiples of five. Similarly, if die number one rolls a two, our number two needs a five since two times anything else that's not five isn't a multiple of five since we are six sided die. Similarly, three, we need a five for a three. And just continue this chart on and on and on. Okay, this is a very tall chart, but you know, we have a lot of possibilities now. So now we're going to stop here and just say we have six possibilities. We have six out of 36. But you see, what if we roll die number two first? It's not like we have to roll die number one first. Well, if we roll die number two first, well, it's not like die number two is so much, so much special, so, so much more special than die number one. So die number two can also be one through six. And if die number two is any of the numbers one through six, but in die number one, they have to be five. So basically, we can double this. We can basically like, like flip all these numbers, like put the five here, put the five here, put the five here, put the five here. But this five, five, that's a lot. That's really special since when we flip this over, five, five for die number one, five for die number two, well, uh, this is the only way to have two fives, since when you flip this over, well, we still have five and five. That's no different. But for four or five, that's this possibility. If we roll a four for die number one and a five for die number two, well, when we flip this, we get a different combination. This is five and four, that's four and five. Since here, die number one was a four, here, die number one rolls a five. So, when we double these, if we, look, if we, when we double these five, we have ten. But we add on that extra, there was only one of these five fives. We only have eleven successful. Eleven successful outcomes, meaning we have eleven out of thirty-six.